Johannesburg is a vibrant happening city and I love living there. Mabuneng in particular gives one a good reason to say I love Josie, as Vic discovered. By the beginning of the 90s, the Johannesburg inner city had developed a bad case of urban decay, with property values plummeting. A group of developers spotted an opportunity and set about revitalizing a neighborhood east of the CBD, which they called Mabuneng. Hashtag Mabuneng seems to be popping up on my social media feeds quite often. When you click on the link, you're treated to a stream of color, massive murals, eclectic food, trendy restaurants, and urban fashion. It's a hip place to be on a Sunday, especially when suburbians invade to get a taste of inner city life. It so happens that this beauty is right in my backyard. The revival began in 2008 with a developer buying old construction offices and warehouses. Guided by renowned sustainable architect Enrico De Foncio, he set about establishing an inner city oasis. I'm so excited to get my day started in Mabuneng, but first I need my caffeine fix. We're also chatting to Sruti Naya, who's one of Mabuneng's oldest residents, and she's also part of the development team. Sruti! Hey! Hi, how are you? Good and you, nice to meet Thank you. Thank you so much, for no nice problem. to meet you too. Thank you yep, so much. Hug, it's good to hug. Yes, for showing us around Mabuneng today. Seriously, this is the first time I've been to Mabuneng and I'm absolutely in awe of this place. How would you describe Mabuneng? Mabuneng is a connected neighborhood. It's densely populated with retail, office, industrial, um, residential. And it's a neighborhood, it's a community. From the restaurant owner that we're sitting in to myself, I live here, to someone who sends their child to the school up the road. So it's just people who are deciding to live in an urban center. How was the name Mabuneng chosen? Mabuneng is a Sutu word for light, and it was a metaphor for, I guess, seeing the true potential in a city that people often forget about or are quick to uh, call a terrible city, you know? Joburg's an exceptional city. What sets Mabuneng apart? The difference here, possibly, is that there are 45 buildings that are being developed by one developer. And in these buildings, you have a mix of apartments that you can rent for below 2,000, right up to 20,000. So it's a mixed income model, which is essential to the success of a city. And um, it grows. Every single year it grows. A big part of the Mabuneng secret lies in its community spirit. And even visitors can feel like old friends. Rather than being a precinct that draws people only at certain times of the day or week, life in this district carries on round the clock, 365 days a year. You can pick up a snack or an entire meal from stalls selling street food, while an organic market has all the fresh ingredients if you prefer to cook at home. This looks interesting. Is this like, I would assume it's cornbread and yeah. with fillings on top? Then we walk this way. Right from the start, crafters and artists have been anchor tenants rather than big retail chains, offering a cosmopolitan and ever-changing choice of fashion, accessories, furnishing and decor for all tastes and budgets. Some businesses have followed the small is beautiful approach of the traditional stallholder, while others have evolved and expanded. Suriti. I'm told that this is a really popular gallery. The space that we're in right now started as a printmaking studio and they've evolved into a very renowned gallery and bookshop. After this we're going to go to the living room which is a rooftop eco cafe and it's got the best views of the whole of the Joburg CBD from the east side and of Mabuneng. Shall we try it out? Yes. I think Mabuneng is such a cool place to hang out simply because it's, it's got such a diverse a group of people that come and chill out here. It's very chilled. You know, you get people from different places. And, and it's such a nice vibe. It's nice, like, such it's a nice awkward. vibe. It you know, it's works. chilled. <laughs> a lot of like cool places to hang out around here. It's different. It's good. It's upliftment to Johannesburg. The living room certainly lived up to Shruti's description. And the venue captures the essence of Mabuneng. What was once a no-go area has been transformed into a place buzzing with get up and go. Recycling industrial buildings into lifestyle hubs. Mabuneng is cool, hip and happening. It's attracted a diverse group of people who are breathing new life into old spaces. My dad, Mabuneng, has been an eye-opener and I cannot wait to return.